What is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade, basketball analysis coming to y'all with that instant analysis on the Cleveland Cavaliers losing to the Philadelphia 76ers. The 76ers improved to 38 and 19 and 23 and 8 at home. The Cavaliers fall to 38 and 23. They're 13 and 17 away from Cleveland. Sixers beat them 118 to 112. Philly did get off to a pretty good start, um, was able to get to the three-point line and make shots, was able to get to the paint a lot, 38-24 um, to 24 in the first quarter. They also was able to outscore them 25-14 to 14 in the second quarter. It looked like Philly was going to run away with it. It looked like Philly was a more superior team. They executed better. They had a great game plan, and they defended pretty well. But in the second half, Donovan Mitchell and Evan Mobley and those guys started to get hot. They started to find their comfort zones. They started to find their spots. And they was able to utilize that to their advantage. And they was able to get a 32-24 to third quarter and a 42-point fourth quarter to 31 to Philly. Unfortunately, they had to play from behind the entire game from first quarter all the way to the fourth even though they made their run in the third and the fourth quarter, the lead seemed insurmountable at one point just because Philly has guys that can make shots and make plays. Um, and it just seems like it was impossible for them to make the comeback just because Philly got guys that can put the ball in the basket. Tyrese Maxey hit a huge floater with three seconds left on the shot clock. That was pretty much game at that point just because they needed them to miss. Uh, Cleveland couldn't get enough stops in the fourth quarter to really get the victory in this one. You got to give credit to Harden. You got to give credit to Embiid. Um, not only for Embiid getting his five assists, but Harden getting 12 of them. He's already leading the NBA in assists. And you look at a game like this, guys stepped up. Guys like Milton um, and Harden and Embiid and um, Maxi, the, the guys that usually step up offensively for them did it. Um, P.J. Tucker, 10 points, plus 19 and plus minus, two personal fouls, one steal, three rebounds, two of them was offensive. He also was 2-2 two two from the three-point line, 4-5 or five from the field. He didn't get in the way. He made his threes when they was open. Um, he played solid defense in 21 minutes, and he didn't really miss only but one shot. Tobias did the same. He had his spots where he made shots, but ultimately does what he does, um, which is disappear. 13 points, plus 8, plus minus, 2 steals, 2 rebounds. He was 3 or 4 from the 3-point line and 5 or 8 from the field. It just seemed like he pitches in points throughout the game and don't really try to be a main feature anymore like he was years ago. Um, Joel Embiid, 29 points, plus 3 and plus minus. He did have 3 personal fouls and 2 turnovers, but he ended up with 1 block, 2 steals, 5 assists, 14 rebounds. One of them was offensive, a massive night for him again because of the free throw line. 11 to 12, only missing one tonight. He was 0 of 2 from 3, 9 to 21 from the field, but he still left his imprint on his game in the paint and on the perimeter, and they couldn't really stop him uh, from getting to the free throw line, and it got them in some trouble. Um, James Harden, 19 points, plus 5 and plus minus, one personal foul, three turnovers. He also had one block and one steal, 12 assists, so a double-double for him in and be the only two people that did that um, on his team tonight. Four rebounds, six of six from the free throw line, three of seven from three, um, five of 11 from the field. De'Anthony Milton did a good job, two of five from three. He also was able to get to the free throw line seven times, making every attempt. Um, he also had two rebounds, one of them was offensive, four assists. Uh, one turnover, four personal foul, plus eight and plus minus, 17 points, four of eight from the field. McDaniels, four points, negative nine and plus minus, four personal fouls, one steal, four rebounds, two offensive rebounds, all one from the three-point line, two of six from the field. George Niang, two points, plus two and plus minus, two personal fouls, one turnover, one assist, two rebounds, all one from the three-point line, one and two from the field. Reed, five points, plus three and plus minus, two personal fouls, one turnover, two blocks. He also had four rebounds. One of them was offensive, one or two from the free throw line, two or two from the field. And then Tyrese Maxey, 16 points, negative 10 and plus minus, three personal fouls, two turnovers. He only had two assists and one, one offensive rebound. He was two or two from the free throw line, two or four from three. 
He made them when he was open and when it mattered. He didn't attempt too many tonight. Did a good job of penetrating, doing a good job of handling the ball. Finished the game 6-12. of Shade Milton, three points, plus one and plus minus. One person foul, one turnover, one rebound. One to one from the three-point line, one to three from the field. Um, had a no-show game, but he only played 10 minutes, so you don't really blame him. Did a decent job in the minutes that he played. How was Junior, Deadman, and Harold and Springer all did not play coach's decision? They did shoot 50% from the field, 39 to 78. That's pretty good, but Cleveland did too. The The difference was the three-point shooting and the free throw. Um, they shot 48% from three, 13 to 27. You're going to win a lot of games when you shoot. 50% from the field and 48% from three um, and 93% from the free throw line. They only missed two tonight. They got there 29 times and only missed two, 27 to 29. You're going to win a lot of games when you have a, a hot game from three and from the free throw line and you out rebound them 38 to 35 and also out assist them 24 to 23. They also did have seven steals, four blocks, um, they did have 11 turnovers, which allowed Cleveland to get back into the game. And also having 22 personal fouls um, allowed Cleveland to have some, some type of success. Um, but you got to give credit to Evan Mobley. Um, 23 points for him, negative 8 and plus minus, four personal fouls, two turnovers. He also had one assist, nine rebounds, one was offensive. Um, did a great job in the paint. He didn't do a good job at the three-point line. He was all four from three. He wasn't shy about taking them like he usually does, but his release didn't really look confident, and he done, didn't really look like it was a good shot for him yet, even though you got to have a little bit of faith that he can get it in the future to go down. Five of seven from the free throw line. He was nine of 19 from the field. Uh, Okoro, five points, negative 11 and plus minus, three personal foul, one block, two assists, one rebound, one of four from the three-point line, two of six from the field. Jared Allen in the paint was able to get 12 points, five of six from the field. He also was two of two from the free throw line. He had seven rebounds on tonight. Uh, five of them was offensive, which was pretty well done by him. He also had three personal fouls and negative seven and plus minus. Darius Garland got it going to 27 points from him, negative 10 and plus minus, four personal fouls. He also had one turnover. But other than that, he did a pretty good job. Three steals tonight, good job intercepting. And playing um, good defense, not the greatest, but solid. Um, six assists, two rebounds. He also is four or six from the free throw line. Three or three from three. He can get hot from three. He's a solid three point shooter. Um, also, 10 to 14 from the field. This is the type of night that they needed from him because he did have a speed advantage um, in that starting lineup against Philly, and he utilized that um, tonight. Donovan Mitchell got hot in the second half was really one of the reasons why they probably lost this game. Not only that, their defense, they gave up a lot of easy opportunities, and they allowed Philly to get in the rhythm, and they allowed Philly to get to their spots, and then they try to, you know, blitz them a little bit in the second half. But Philly continued to take their time and execute and get quality shots, so they was able to, you know, pretty much put out that fire. 33 points from Donovan Mitchell, negative one and plus minus. One personal foul, two turnovers, one block, two steals, five assists, five rebounds. Three of them was offensive. He also was seven of eight from the free throw line, four of 11 from three, 11 to 24 from the field. Dean Wade contributed eight, I mean, zero points, plus three and plus minus. He did get two blocks and four rebounds, but he did miss the only attempt that he shot. Uh, Green. Good thing to see him healthy and out there back on the court. Three points from him tonight. It was a three. Um, negative six and plus minus. He also did have one steal and one rebound. He was one of four from the field. Um, not really going to do much offensively for you um, at this point in his career, especially coming off injury and he's older. Um, Stevens, two points, negative three and plus minus, one rebound, or two from three point line, one of four from the field. Raul Neto, two points, negative one and plus minus, one personal foul, one rebound, two or two from the free throw line, or one from the field. And Karis LeVert only had five points um, in 28 minutes. That's not good. Plus 14 and plus minus, one personal foul. He also had three turnovers, but he did get um, one block, one steal, five assists, and four rebounds, and one of them was offensive. 
He also made one three out of two and two or three from the field. Didn't really look to score, really wasn't looking for a shot, was just really looking to set guys up and penetrate um, and probe a little bit. And it was a solid game from him. We just wanted more from him offensively. Kevin Love didn't play. Robin Lopez didn't play. Coach's decision. Like I said before, they did shoot 50%. They did shoot 10 to 30 from the three-point line, 33%. 80% from the free throw line, 20 to 25. 35 rebounds, like I said before. 23 assists, 7 steals, 5 blocks. They only had 8 turnovers and 17 personal fouls. That's pretty good, but they couldn't really stop Philly. And they dug themselves too big of a hole. Other than that, continue to like, continue to subscribe, continue to hit the notification bell for more analysis when it comes out. And also um, check out my podcast. That will be in the description. Also continue to like on Facebook um, to help this channel continue to grow. We had an all-time high. Continue to subscribe. Other than that, I'll see you guys later.